And there you have it, the natural Devon in his natural habitat. His natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. That's a big hole right Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors with Dominic. Today is teal and wood duck season 2021 in Kentucky. We're over here at the gas station getting ready, and then we're about to head over to the public land. If y'all have any private land that I can hunt or join y'all in a hunt, comment down below or private message us. We'll see you guys at the pond. Holy moly, we finally got to the spot. The first three spots were already taken this early. So now we're sitting on the creek. Time to unload my weapon and get ready. I'm all loaded up, now I just gotta wait for shooting light. Only five more minutes till shooting light. Oh, the light. So I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> Duck hunting has been going good so far. We've all been hanging out, my dad and our guest out here with us today. They went scouting for like five minutes and they went scouting for like five minutes and then I just stayed on a lookout. Yeah, we haven't seen anything yet. We have hunters on both sides of us. They shot, but it doesn't look like anything wants to come to the middle. Fingers crossed. Let's go, ducks. There's duck, there's duck. It flew away. So close. Maybe another group will come in. Devin found a, uh, saw a duck flying pretty low right next to him. He's like, duck, 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 duck. Uh, we all look up, uh, get our guns. But what we didn't realize is how fast it was going. It just went, it just went past us and flew away. <laughs> Good job, Devin, for not putting your gun up. <laughs> if you guys know of anyone that's interested in hunting, you should take them out. Just like Devin, we took him out duck hunting with us today. I'm sure Devin's having a whole bunch of fun with us. Like, we already, we've already seen some ducks and yeah. Now I just gotta keep cutting it up and shooting some ducks. We just saw a blue winged teal. Seriously, guys, we we need an invitation so that we can come and hunt with you guys or hunt on your private property. Send us a message. We really want to give you all some good videos. Guys, we just had a big, huge group fly by. A huge, big group of crows. I put my gun up. I tried shooting, but I forgot to take it off safe, so I wasn't able to shoot. No crows, but it's either crows, ducks, or doves today. So... Gotta get one of them, or all of them. <laughs> Look at this tree right up here. Though that branch got right in between the trees because the water rose so high that a branch ended up floating into the trees. And after the water fell back down, it just stayed there. Isn't that crazy? We have about an hour before we gotta leave. So far, I haven't shot in yet. My dad, he shot twice. One at a crow, um, another at a 
wood duck. And, um, and our guest, Devin, he shot at the crow, missed. So, that's how the cookie crumbles for now. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, son? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So, for all you guys out there, I'm the man behind the camera. I'm Dominic's father. Um, you know, we just really like sharing our adventures to the world, don't we? Oh, yeah. It's really fun. Yeah? You know, it's... I don't know what we're doing is right or wrong, but we definitely just like showing the world how we learn out here and, you know, really just putting our boots on the ground and seeing what's seeing what's out there. Yeah. Huh. Sometimes you really have to figure it out yourself, huh? Yeah. You have to find that trail or find them ducks, put in that time and the effort. Mm -hmm. And today we got one duck. Well, we didn't get one. We seen one fly in on us. Huh? Yeah. Now one flew in on us, went away, and I'm pretty sure the same one came back and then flew away. And then we saw some crows, flew away, and yeah. You know, it's well, we, we hunt public land. We hunt public land because that's obviously what we have available to us. Dominic has one duck hunting pond the max ducks we've ever seen there in one year is maybe six. Yeah. And we didn't want to harvest all of them so they can come back again. Um, maybe make more, make more babies and have them come back. Yep. And uh, we have a deer property, but that's only for deer, no birds. Yeah. So we'll get there. Mm -hmm. So like Dominic said already a couple times, let us know if uh, you if you want us to film and come on out and have a good time. Yeah. This boy loves it. He loves it. Yeah, it's really fun. All hunting in general? Or is duck yeah. hunting your favorite? Duck hunting's so far my favorite favorite. Yeah. It's more interactive other than deer hunting where you kind of have to just sit in your blind or whatever, just waiting for something to come in. Or turkey hunting where you just gotta sit still, full on camouflage, trying not to move. So yeah. So duck hunting, you like how we can just, you know, cook cook a little meal out here, get a little warm. Now, sometimes we carry in a big book bag, but hey, we, we do it, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. So let's sit back, relax for a little bit, this last 30, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And let's get these ducks to... Just do it. That's right. Sometimes it's just really fun to just sit back and have some bonding time with family members, like today with my dad. Make sure you guys also do that while you're out hunting. Share your story to the world and inspire others. And there you have it, the natural Devon in his natural habitat. His natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. That's a big hole right there. <laughs> I guess he has found a new hiding spot or a place to relax. Look at the human while he goes through the woods. One step at a time, the human gets closer. Right the on. human's at 10 yards, stay You're steady. Four -wheel drive, I don't. We were calling him in because he was talking about four wheel drive. Here he is, F-150 driver. We got him. <laughs> you have to have fun while you hunt. Well, that's a wrap for today, ladies and gentlemen. Today we didn't get any ducks, so so now we gotta just finish packing up and head to the truck. <laughs> we just walked out of the woods and we found the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Officer. He's making sure that everyone is safe, doing the right things, and making sure everything is legal. So make sure you guys have the proper stuff when going into the woods. And thank you to the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife for keeping us safe. Thank you for protecting our land. Appreciate it. Thank you for being out here hunting. Good to see you, these kids out here. I hope you guys had a good time. Until, until next episode. See ya!
the natural Devon in his natural habitat. His natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. Natural habitat. That's a big hole right there. <laughs> I guess he has found a new hiding spot or a place to relax. Look at the human while he goes through the woods. One step at a time, the human gets closer. Right the on. human's at 10 yards, stay You're steady. Four -wheel drive, I don't. We were calling him in because he was talking about four-wheel drive. We got him! 